Ah. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, folks. I'm Aaron here, the host of that one, Evad. And today we're playing again, as I said before, Doki Doki Literature Club. Alright, let's get going. Hmm. Group together. Disarray. An ending. Friends. Holiday. Bubbles. I like popping bubbles. Chocolate. Contamination. Email. Fun. Mm, bouncy. Skipping. Yes. I picked the right option. Hopeless. Joy. Oof. Okay. Empty. Giggle. Rainbow. Yes! <coughs> I'm dying yet. Okay, I'm back. My voice is dying after that FA Cup semi final. Sorry, folks. <laughs> I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here with the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Aaron. Ah, hi, Yuri. Sure, it's just me. What is Yuri's expression? But the weight of yesterday's goal still hangs in there a little bit. Um, Yuri glances over his shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki's reading a manga at a desk. Surprisingly, Monica isn't here. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm, pulls me straight to the corner of the room. About yesterday, I. I really need to apologize. Nothing like this ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I was acting men mentally sound. Please don't think we usually like this. I'm not just you, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy to actually consider and apologize. You don't have to worry too much. I mean, I've only been here a couple of days. I could tell someone was off yesterday. We were just having a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. Whatever it is, it didn't make me less think of you. I already decided there's no way you could be a person, and I apologize, you know. I know you really didn't mean it. Ah, Aaron, don't say those kind of things so frankly. They make me sound a little, they make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad you joined the club. I think it's a little bit brighter with you around then. Ah, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just, hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah, no, I haven't. I was kind of wondering where she was. And I didn't even guess you didn't have it either. I'm just really taking them back by how calmly Natsuki is addressing it. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like it at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't worry. But uh, I can't help but worry a little bit. Why? Wow. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I didn't mean any of the things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, hey, what the heck are you talking about? Did you, something, did you do something yesterday? Hey? Jeez, what was on your mind? I'm sure there was nothing. Do you remember anything about this? Hmm. That kind of person who is too much about the little things, aren't you? And this is the text where something's gone wrong, isn't it? But, but I'll accept your apology anyways if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear. This is all, 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 I was always afraid that you secretly hated me or something like that. <laughs> No, not at all. Don't hate you. You're kind of weird. Well, you're kind of weird, but that, I don't hate you either. <laughs> I mean, at least they don't hate you. You still on trial, eh? Hey. So I need the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Nasuki was. I was not. Uh -huh. What took you so long anyway? Ah, uh, my last period today was steady all. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. Yeah, I've heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since practicing piano. Piano. I don't know why you played music as well, Monica. I don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. I'm impressed. <sighs> nice glass of water. Oh, well, thanks, Yuri. Should you play something for us now? You should play something for us sometime. 
hats. Okay, so me. And I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. And once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. That's so, in case. I'm gonna let you down, Aaron. Well, I guess well, sweetie. Ah, uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping I could share with you anyways. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure Monica was re re referring to the club, whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. I didn't miss anything, did I? Not really. She doesn't bring up anything we always talked about. Besides, my suit is already run off to the closet. Uh, see a couple of minutes put me in such a good mood. I was wondering if we'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Ah, I suppose so. I think you'd say no to you after you that bothered me. Yes, I need to make sure that Suki is away from me. We finished reading yesterday. She, she's fine. She's reading over there, see? Okay. Don't think about her so much. She used to be ignored. Go on, we're going over there. Okay. Uh, what's the story about then? Hmm, I look for that to cover the book. Looks tight. It'll put you a mark of. Mark. I'm done. I've probably butchered the name. And it's simple to say. It's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front of the cover. Basically, it's about this religious camp that's turned into a human experiment prison. Be trapped out of this trait that turns them into killing machines. Lust for blood. The facility gets even worse as he starts selecting. Oh, selectively breeding people by cutting their off their limbs and then fixing to them. To, oh, 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 that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyways, I, I'm really into it. The book, the book. I mean, not not the thing with the limbs. That's kind of that's kind of dark isn't it well this game is kind of dark so i can't say much here you made it sound like it's gonna be a nice story so the dark the turn came out of nowhere i can symbolize that to the, uh, i'm gonna be waffling too much again you're not a fan of that sort of thing are you? no it's not that i mean i can definitely enjoy this kind of story so don't worry so Got you reason to these things. She's so shy. Inclusive on the outside, but her mind seems completely different. It's that this kind of story is the kind of it's the kind of challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil, it's the world is full of horrible people, and we are all worthless anyway. <laughs> I don't believe you. Then suddenly I'm rambling, ain't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost it. I haven't lost it just anything. Oh, because alright then. I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. I don't know that thing is in the book. When I, when, I, when I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. You're what now? I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. I just mean you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's literally a club after all. Huh. That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well just get started reading, right? Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, but... Uh, oh, what are you saying? Let me just get the book. Quickly retrieve the book and put it into my bag. Alright, it's fine. Let's see. Alright, sip. Next to seat next to yours. Ah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. But I'm sorry. Not that I don't want you to. Something I'm not very used to. That's really reading in company. Company someone. Not meant in company. Well, just tell me if I'm distracting you or anything. Ah, uh, all right. Open the book. Open the book. Stop in the prologue. You understand what reading means about reading in company? That's I can feel a presence over my shoulder to read. Not a particular bad thing. Maybe a little attractive with the feeling is somewhat comforting. In the corner of my eye, I realize she's not actually looking at her own book. <sighs> Glance over. Like she's reading some of my book instead. So, sorry, I was just. Okay. <laughs> you don't really need you, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. Don't mean to. 
mean here this shit work right at my desk and until this gets here he's didn't hold my book all between the two of them except maybe timidly closes it on copy as we lean in a little bit it's our shoulders are almost touching they're like my left arm is in the way so instead use my right arm to hold the book open i guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page yeah he takes the left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumbs and forefinger. Ah, I'm the same thing with my right arm. I don't know, inside the book. That way I turn the page and you slide it on the Lips to the side. Holding it like this. We're hardly even closer than ever before. Kind of actually distracting me. I can feel the one for you so she's in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Hey, eh? To turn the page. Ah, oh, I think you got a bit I think I got a bit for a second. <laughs> Glance over you, his face again. Oh, I mean, I don't know how to. I don't know how I'll keep over there. That's okay. You're not used to reading, right? Someone can be patient if it takes you a bit longer. Probably a second. Dude. You've been so patient with me. Yeah. We continue reading. You is no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume she finishes the page before me. So I turn and I'm on what? Volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. And so turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently lets go of the page, letting a flow. Let it flow over to her side as she catches it under her thumb. Hey, Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit, eh? No, 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 don't relate to the character at all. Definitely not, really. The way she second guesses things, he says, and all that. Huh. So, I, that's what you were talking about this side. Then you meant something else about it. Something else? N never mind. We didn't get it. We didn't even get that far yet. I don't know why that came in my head. <laughs> Are you feeling alright? You've been acting fidgety ever since you started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Breathing is a little. My breathing? You know, because I have. Yes, I And as if to feel a heartbeat. I didn't even notice. You know, he's not fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. He stands up and practically rushes out the classroom. What the is that? Something happened just now? Eh? I have no idea. You're reacting in a little strange, I guess. I don't know anything. Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh no, not really. I was just making sure you didn't do anything to n nothing. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. He just does this sometimes. There's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyways, why do we slash sharing our poems with each other? Hey, eh? true away for you. Well, she might take a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Okay. Yeah, oh, she's asking. Stand up. I'll make a mess on the I left the book. Let's step it back in my bag. Alright, what do you want to say, Monica? Hi again, Aaron. How's the fighting going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you come up with a masterpiece. Mwah, masterpiece. I wouldn't count on that. You never know. I want, to share your oh, I want to share what you wrote today. Yeah, here you go. Go put them to Monica. Alright, great job, Aaron. I was going to. Ooh, in my head, I was reading. Really metaphorical. Not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I, understood. I, guess I underestimated you. Easier for me to keep everyone else. It's easier for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair, but I guess it worked anyways. You know that you really like this sort of writing, right? Right? That's full of imaginary and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Fury's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean like right. That's a bad thing though. Sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spent so much time in her own head, there's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why, I like. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with lots of kindness. If she used to being indulged like that. Must really be starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming in on it, little strongly. Okay, yeah, I think she gets too stimulated. She ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly, the door opens. Yuri! Back! 
Did I miss anything? No, not really. Well, I'll start shooting poems over each other. Hey? Already? Oh, I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad I took. Excuse me, sorry. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad you took all the time you needed. Alright, thanks, Monica. I really should get my poem now. But, anyways, I'm gonna read my poem now. I like the way this one's doing now, so I hope you do too. Save me. Colors, they won't. Bright, be beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless caffeine of meaningless noise. The no this is okay. Okay, the noise, it won't stop. Violent, great, grating. Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign, consigned, stagnant, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing. Oh, okay. Endless. Pom of meaningless. Delete, delete hair. Uh, 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 uh. Who do I mean to do? Uh, okay, do you want me to go in game files and delete someone? Okay. No, thank you. <laughs> I don't need some more. Yes, <laughs> please. Thank you. I'm just trying to. Um... Oh, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyways, it's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. But when that happens, don't forget to save your game. Never when um. Who am I talking to? Excuse you. Can you hear me? So you're breaking the fourth wall, you ain't you? Okay, I'm gonna follow your advice. Come make near me. Anything. So I'm guessing that's what the poem was referring about? Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Hold on. We'll take a look. I found. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. Not many times you play. It's all the same. But really, really easy to kill myself right now. But that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is it so hard? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. There's a little death inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception. The artificial reality is writhing. Twist a mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, soft doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find into the willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to draw down guilt and come with food. Going to a needy open cash in the skin. Going by save the cute shit. Such a deplorable tangle, tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. But I choose not to blame myself for their actions. Well, I did. Let's untie the knot. Interesting stuff. <laughs> okay, we're, we're, good. we're learning the law. The law. What was I going to say again? Oh yeah, uh... Oh, I forgot. Alright, Nasugi, what you up to? <laughs> well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. And again, if this one was good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Guess I want to try something a little different this time? Fair yeah, enough, you're still new to this, so I don't expect you to find your style right away. When everyone in this club writes differently from each other, maybe you'll find a little influence from all of us. 
for instance, I know she'll be spending some time with you today. But I can't even spend your time with her. after all, it's the court. To never expect anything from anybody. Not like spoiling for you or anything. You should at least look over my poem. Oh, please have a fun. T3 B L B I B Z B 3 V Yankee India Foxtrot Romeo Oscar Alpha X Ray Julia Kilo India Echo Victor 5 Zulu Beck G, thanks. Why didn't you come read with me today? I was waiting for you. I was waiting for a long time. A long, long time, eh? It's the only thing I had to look forward to today. Why did you ruin it? He's like you, Emo. I think you're better off not associating with her. Are you listening to me? You is a sick freak. That should be obvious by now, so just play with me instead, okay? You don't hate me, Aaron, do you? Do you hate me? Do you want to make me go home crying? The club is the only place I feel safe. Okay, don't ruin this for me. Don't ruin it, please. Just stop talking to Yuri. Play with me instead. It's all I have. Play with me. Play with me. Bloody yeah. Well, um... Yo, that's terrifying, ain't it? Alright then. Let's move on. God. I've been waiting. I see what you've written for today. He smiles and takes a deep breath. I like holds it. I mean, the poem turned out good. It's a. Uh, well, there's something she could work on. But that doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. That came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's the poem I wrote. You don't have to like anything. Wheel. A rotating wheel. Turning axle. Grinding. Bald head. I, mean, I, I can barely read this out. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry. Uh, Fallen. Game Boy. Fallen Sky. Seven holy stakes. A dock ship. A portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. Ah, uh, a... I think that's loneliness. Anabolic. Oh, oh okay. Oh, car, car. Okay, I get it. Anabolic gearbox, expanding universe, tune controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God swimming up open water in all directions, drowning a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time. De de <laughs> Devolving sti snakes with human eyes, a thread connecting all living humans' eyes. Kaleidoscope of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox. A sky of exploding stars. God disapproving the existence. God disapproving the existence of God. A wheel. Rotating in six dimensions. Or E. Years. I've probably oh, I've butchered this, haven't I? And ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet. A clock that ticks forty times every every time it ticks every second. A bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clock. Time Devo devolving prayer connecting the sky of forty or forty gears and open human eyes in all direction. Breathing gearbox, breathing, breathing ship 
breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing gall, breathing blood, breathing holy sticks, breathing you oh. breathing human eyes, breathing time, breathing prayers, breathing sky, breathing wheel. No music? Doesn't really matter when it's about. When is a little bit hyper creative today. Hyper, sorry, my mind's been hyper active today. That's pen. Hello, your backpack. It says took it home for safekeeping. And uh, I just really liked it. Here, right? I wrote this poem with it. I ain't touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. But then I just can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem though. Yeah, special poem. God, I can read that. <laughs> Are you okay there, Monica? <laughs> um. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? There's something we need to go over today. So if anyone could come and set the front of the room. Is it about the festival? Or sort of. I don't really need to do something for the festival. It's, nothing, it's not like you can put anything together good in a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. That's a concern of mine as well. Don't need to do well with the last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, are we? Look, I know everyone's a little bit more lively since Aaron joined and we started with some club activities. But it isn't in time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members and the festival's only a real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about new members anyways? But they have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and difficult to manage. Suki. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to share your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them, same feeling that brought you here in the first place. Literature Club should be the place where people can express themselves like they do, like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate like you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why you should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even if something small. Right, Aaron? Ah. Oh, come on, you can't take advantage of Aaron to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of you join the club with other people in mind? You never talk, even talked until Aaron joined. For me, I just like get better here than they do at home. I was even passionate about literature in the first place. That's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only person who's interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're present and all, but you really should consider uh, our opinions first. I want to just clearly take you back by Natsuki's words. That, 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 that's not true at all. Sure, you and Aaron want to get more members too, right? Don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to be a rescued situation, then. Um, no, Natsuki's right, is she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for, pu for pu few people to hang out. I don't think everyone here saw the same way as I did. That's mean. But that doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Why did you even join the club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, remember, you weren't even given the choice to not join. Monica sat down in a chair to ask, what's the point of all this anyways? What if starting a club was a mistake? I've done it, Asuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind! Is it a crime, to be honest? Well, about being honest? It's about word choice. Besides, you know, right to speak for everyone else in the club that, like that. I don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. It's not a problem with the club, for me. There aren't, there aren't any many other places like that for me. I want to go take it away from me. I'm taking everything away. No, no, Aaron. It's not the same. It won't be the same without the direction, with the direction she wants to take it. I wonder then I could have just joined any stupid other club. But this one, I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Nice. Asuki starts packing up her things. What's going on? I feel like I don't belong here now. Asuki. Asuki knows she really walks out the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Do you have any opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about the ob obnoxious little- Oh, God. I mean, I, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. I'm just happy for you, yeah? But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore responsibilities like that. I would cry if she... Oh my gods. 
Okay. I should best consider everyone's perspective and the decision is right for the club. Well, what do you want? What did you want to get out of the club? Here you piece the same question as Monica. That given the indirect answers, but then I think it's important things for everyone to get along. And for the club, provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I think it's about having members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what ends up making the nature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. Have each change? Well, I just saw some. Oh. I'm not hallucinate. I'm not hallucinating. But, uh, do you see that? Did you just uh, speak English? You, yeah. Do you see? You see there? Right there. Right there. Don't think there's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out your comfort zone once in a while. People like that, Monica, with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright, maybe we can talk about Suki tomorrow. Who knows? Hey, Yuri. Hey? I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that you still think you're a wonderful vice president. Also, wonderful friend. M Monica, I do everything I can to make this the best club ever, okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Look forward to it. Shall we go on? Um. Please don't take this wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Aaron before we leave. See what he thinks at the time, man. All supportive for me as president. He looks in no trouble. It's a protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you two tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as she re exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been hectic really early, haven't they? I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time here as a club. I really hate to see you unhappy. Background shifting. The background shifting a bit. And it's getting darker. And it's getting darker and darker and darker. What are you up to? I feel like I'm responsible for that as vice president. Uh, not vice president, you're the president! I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing other girls. We have a hard time. With how mean Asuki is and everything. And now you've been a little bit, you know. Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all your time we've been here, we've hardly got to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to make sounds. I didn't mean to say something weird. There's a few things I've been hoping to talk to you about with. Things only you could understand. That's why... Wait, not yet, no! Interesting! Okay, we're gonna end off here! Another interesting day! You forgot about, uh, yesterday's argument? Um... That was one interesting quote. That was a couple of interesting quotes from you. <laughs> and. Yeah, good. I think Monica's sentient. There we go. What else would it be? The file of save me. And can you hear me though? Wait. Explains a lot. Anyways, we'll end it here for now. Hope you lot out of... God, let me speak. Alright. Hope you guys had... Hope you guys actually... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Do not miss another one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, so you don't miss another one. We got some more of this content coming up, and a couple of more different games too. Enjoy like the variety. Anyways, that's that's all for you today. See you guys in the next one. Ta-da, folks.